This is Duke University. Um, whenever and wherever theatre happens, it is characterized by a tension between reality and fiction. Always between the real and the fictional. For it is always real spaces where performances take place. It is always real time which the performance consumes. And there are always real bodies which move in and through the real spaces. At the same time, the real space the stage may signify various fictional spaces. The real time, the duration of the performance is not identical with the time represented. And the real body of each actor usually signifies the body of another, a stage figure, a character. These circumstances quite often gave and still give rise to a variety of transgressions between the fictional and the real. The just mentioned Johann Jakob Engel a philosopher of the Enlightenment, later to become the director of Berlin's Royal Theatre and author of two volumes on the art of acting, blames actors and in particular actresses for not allowing the real phenomenal body to disappear and in behind the body of the fictional stage character by performing actions that direct the attention of the spectators to their own phenomenal body. At the new theory of an illusionistic theatre, a theatre of the fourth wall, as Diderot put it, demanded the spectators only to perceive the dramatic character in the performance. In case the spectator's attention is attracted to the real, the phenomenal body of the actor or actress, in a way that is no longer a sign of the dramatic character, he starts to feel empathy for him or her. And this, no doubt, I quote, inevitably would drag him out of the illusion. The spectator is forced to leave the fictional world of the play and to pass over into the world of real corporeality. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.